What's going on there guys? I'm back again today. Today I'll be smoking the uh, La Flor Dominicana. This is the Lajero. Not Ligero, not Ligero, not Ligero, Ligero. I believe it's pronounced Lajero, like with an H instead of a G. I think this is probably one of the most mispronounced words out there. But it's okay, I understand. <laughs> yeah, so the La Flor Dominicana Lajero. Not the double Lajero, just, just a single one. I know I've been looking around to try and find the specs on the cigar and all the filler and binder and everything. And there's a double Lajero, one with a chisel tip. This is just a single. I believe this is the L500. It's like a 5.75 times uh, 60 ring gauge. It says it's got um, Dominican filler, a binder that's from the Dominican Republic, and the wrapper is Ecuadorian. It's supposed to be a full bodied cigar. It's very nice looking. That's the first thing right off the bat. You notice how well constructed it is. The seams are very tight, barely visible. It's got a few small size veins running up and down, nothing too major. Very, very oily wrapper. It's gotten pretty glossy. So it's a very nice look. It's very dark brown. Um, some areas are a little browner than others. It's pretty firm, but at the same time, it's a little bit spongy still. Some spots are harder than others. It's got kind of a bumpy feel to it, kind of like a lumpy. It has a... Looks to be a double cap. Double cap? Man, I can't, can't really tell. I think it's a double cap. Kind of hard to tell on this one. There's so many lines and stuff, it's not much a normal look. Oh, also, I tried to find this cigar on a couple different websites, and I believe I found it. But, um... This wrapper, as you can see in the pictures, is definitely not like the wrapper I'm seeing on the websites I'm looking at. It usually shows a, a red wrapper, kind of like this, but more of like a red with a, what is it, a flower or something in the middle? I don't know, this one's got just, you know, three initials in the middle, so I'm not sure. I think same cigar, maybe they just change the wrapper. But, yeah, so I'm not sure if that's the same thing. But I'm going to go ahead and get this bad boy cut up and uh, start firing it up. Got matches again. I got a little Bic lighter if I have to use it. I'm still trying to get my torch lighter back. It's being a pain in the ass lately because I've been smoking kind of a lot lately. <coughs> oh. Oof. Okay. Now that's out. But yeah, I'm gonna get this thing cut up, and uh, I won't show you the whole thing of lighting it with matches because it's gonna be a while. But I'll put a little bit in there. I'll cut the rest out for you guys. But let's get it snipped up. Yeah. Oh, beautiful draw, even for this this large, beautiful draw. Mm, that's one of the nicest draws ever. It's like super soft. All right, it's go time with the matches. It's very windy out here. Got a pretty even burn for the most part. Pretty even for the most part. Took me about six matches as you saw. Just use the backpack there for a little, little force, a little shield. Wow, this is very strong already. This is definitely full bodied. They were not lying about that. You can just feel the strength almost like in your mouth and like not even in your head, like very strong taste. The pepper is very prominent, very deep tobacco. A deep, very zingy, zingy pepper on there. Full mouthfeel. Slight touch of a... Maybe like a leather, and it's like a small amount of leather and coffee. The, the tobacco taste is very prominent. And so is the pepper. The pepper is definitely a kick in the, kick, kick in the nuts. Smoke output it is awesome, very good. Especially once it started getting it going. <laughs> Took me a little bit, but um, all right, it is 2:20 right now. Starting the cigar. Hmm, very thick. It's a very very thick taste. Not bad. Very is that oily in the lips too. 
definitely taste the oil right off the wrapper. Some cigars I can do that, some cigars don't do it. Alright guys, I'm going to get to the first third. I'll get back to you. I'm going to guess about maybe 30 minutes and then I will let you know on an update and I'll see you then. Alright, I'm back here. What is this? 20, 30, 37 minutes in. My math sucks. Alright, burn line. Eh, not so hot. A little bit wobbly. Not too bad though. The ash is a uh, pretty different colors. First half of the ash, it's pretty brown. On the bottom half, it's more like a light gray. I'm not sure as I work my way down the cigar if it changes from a lighter gray to a darker. Somebody else said it's from the nutrients in the ground, you know, going into the color of the ash. Now, flavor-wise, it's been a pretty complex stick so far. Uh, a lot different than any other cigar I've ever smoked. Uh, it's very soft, like the, every flavor, every uh, aspect of the cigar is very soft from the draw to any flavor. I was getting a really strong, like a strength kick in the beginning from the initial light. Like I said, other cigars that usually happens, but this one was like a kick in the nuts. It was very strong. The pepper was a, almost overwhelming in the beginning, but it's definitely mellowed out after about the first half inch. I was getting uh, earth, uh, slight notes of leather, some noticeable cedar, and uh, a little bit of a sweetness on, on the draw. I was telling my buddy here that it's, it's kind of like a, I had an ice cream before in Japan that was flavored like a rose, like a flower. And I kind of taste that in this, when you get a, cigar and you, and you sniff the foot of it before you light it you get those florally like a florally notes you taste that in this cigar and it's not bad it's not like you're eating a fucking flower or something but it's definitely it's nice dude that's good I like it's a very soft flavors all around it's uh it's being a nice cigar you can set it down for a little bit well, when you set it down for maybe over a minute, it kind of wants to start, I wouldn't say die, but it takes almost a, like a double puff to get it going again. So, uh, trying to take too many puffs and, you know, overheat it or anything. It's still very cool. Put my fingers up to there. It's still very cool burning, so not a problem. Probably a little bit past the third. But I'm going to get the second third, and I'll get back to you and let you know any updates. All right. I'm back here for a second update. I tried to record the update right now, but I forgot to push the record button, I guess. So I'm back here trying this again. Um, over just an hour in, burn line, again, is still somewhat decent. It's getting a little wobbly now, but I haven't given it a touch up yet. Ash fell off, it's a really heavy ash. Um, flavor wise, it's still pretty much consistent. Uh, the, the last half of the cigar, I'm starting to get some changes now. I'm getting kind of a coffee flavor coming in now. I was saying earlier that. It's not really a full body cigar for me. Honestly, it's more like a medium to full at the most. Um, the initial light was very strong, the first inch of the cigar, and then after that, it really mellowed out. And it's been a medium to medium to full, somewhere in there. Um, this last puff I just took, actually, it's, it's getting stronger now. So maybe the last third will be more of a full body cigar. Um, I was telling that that florally kind of taste I was getting, it's still staying there. It's, it's pretty nice and it coats the whole mouth. Uh, peppery finish going on. Not that, it's not a very long finish, so it fades off pretty quick. It's already gone, but the tobacco taste is kind of sticking around. So it's not too bad. It's not overpowering. I have some little Japanese drinker here. Definitely not in the States. It's called an Aquarius. It's definitely not a cigar pair drink. It's not a coffee or a scotch or anything, but it's just something to wet the chap a little bit, you know? Definitely a little oily, though. The wrapper was very, very oily, I told you earlier. And it's definitely nice. The ash I was saying, I think this was in the last, was it the last update? The ash is like a, a grayish, kind of with a brownish going on. So, say my buddy's smoking the Old World Reserve by Rocky Patel and the Corojo. His smoke that's coming off is a real brownish color. And mine's more like a light gray blue. So it's t two totally different cigars and the smoke coming off is totally different. What's this, what's this smell like? Can't really smell it. Man, it's really starting to change in flavor though. It's really, the coffee is really starting to come around, which is nice because I love that flavor. So, I'm going to see if it can pick up a little bit. Maybe it'll become a full-bodied cigar in the last third, and I'll get back to you on that and give any updates. 
Hopefully this recording works this time. All right, guys, I'm back here finishing up with the cigar. Oh, there goes the ash. Down to the nub. Ash just fell off. Big guy. I'm an hour and 55 minutes in. Almost a two-hour smoke, which is not bad. For about seven bucks a stick. Kind of got to factor in the time for how much you're paying. If you get a nice, you know, an expensive cigar and it smokes in an hour, then it's kind of a quick smoke, but this is definitely worth the money. Uh, the last half of the cigar has totally changed. It's like a black and white compared to the first half. The last half is definitely more of a full-bodied stick. I and mean, it went very, very earthy. And uh, the last third, about hitting the last third, it's, it's very nutty. Uh, maybe a tiny bit of leather in there, but that flor florally aspect I had, that's totally gone. Um, I'm telling you, like a totally different cigar. The burn line, I gave it one to two minor touch-ups on the cigar. It's kind of starting to get away, so I just gave it a quick touch-up. Not a big deal. The pepper definitely picked up on the last third. Um, Full-bodied for sure. I kind of coats the whole mouth into the throat a little bit. Uh, I wouldn't say it's a head rush, but it's definitely up there. Strength picked up. Um, Flavor-wise, I think I like the first half better. Uh, not saying the second half is bad, but it's just definitely changed. So it's very complex though. Uh, lots of different flavors of this whole cigar. It could definitely be for anybody. Um, I'd definitely give it a try. My first uh, La Flor Dominicana, so I'm gonna try the other ones because this was such a good experience, and hopefully the other ones can do just the same as this. I'm gonna smoke the last little bit of this, and then I'll get back to you guys in the next review. And uh, let me know if you try this, and any of your thoughts and opinions on this. And I'll see you guys next time.